Terrible job of filming myself and selling my bags. Brandon and I have been doing this for the past two days, and the first day I forgot my camera. The second day, my SD card didn't work. So this is the third day, and we are almost done. I am hoping that we can finish this by the end of today. So since the last time, or since we started, we have pretty much the entire management system hooked up. Um, the only thing we haven't done are the front bags and the rear bags, which are over there. Um, my front bags, as you can tell, are from Airlift. And my rear bags, my rear bags are actually made, or my rear bags are actually from Universal Air. So I'm not really changing out my struts, I'm just changing my coils for bags, um, which will go in there. The past two days, we've hooked up all the electrical to car so the instrument's basically hooked up all the way we have the lines from the battery feeding through inside of the interior um, and then from there they're running through the console through this like little cubby they're running through this little cubby which is under here but I don't I can't get this out I'm dumb uh, it's running through the back here right now, it's a mess, um, into the tank. The tank is hooked up and it does turn on. The compressor is hooked up, it's just not hard mounted. So what we're going to do today is get the compressor fully mounted and then getting to install the bags and then hopefully we should be done. We don't need the distance between here and here that long, or as long as we were thinking. We can cut it down honestly to... Maybe somewhere even here, and I think this is already too much. Because the rest of them, we just need to have these key off so we can get them up to the corner. So I'm running a manual pa paddle valve system instead of using like the Airlift 3H or 3P system, just because first off it was cheaper. Um, and honestly, I really don't mind running gauges or running a manual system, just because it is my first air suspension setup, so it's not going to be that bad for me. Um, I can always upgrade later. So basically a manual system uses these paddle valves instead of using a controller and part of it hooks up to a gauge which... Do you have a gauge? No. Uh, let me get a gauge. Which just... So it just utilizes this gauge, which has, oh, I can get it to focus, oh, come on, focus. Well, it utilizes two needles in it, one for the, for two of them, so this will be for my front one, and then I have an extra one for the rear. Um, that gauge pod, do you think it would fit right here? This is flat enough, just for now, or should I mount it, like, up there for right now? Uh, or I can mount it matter. above those. It doesn't matter. I say be easiest up here. I don't know if it'll fit in between here, but it'll be easiest here. But we need to make sure we leave leave enough slack so we can get it to there whenever we were ready. Okay, that's fine. So I don't have a gauge pod for this car yet. I bought one, but it hasn't came in yet. So Brandon has a 3D printer, so he's 3D printing me a gauge pod for right now. It's kind of ghetto, but I mean. If it works, it works. So that's all I'm hoping. That's all I need. Just until my new one comes in. So what he's doing right now for this is because this is the last part of the management that we need. Is he's hooking an airline up to each one of these. And it's splitting to this T. On this T, this side will go to each corner of the bags. And then this little inlet right here will hook up to my gauge. We're running the airlines right now. 
Disconnect those the other valves just so I could like the plugs just so I could take them out so I don't ruin them. I know I can get it with some pot, huh? The eagle moves. He's trying to feed the fish the wire out through there so I can run it to the rest of the wires through the center console. If my camera would focus, that'd be great, but it doesn't want The wire to the rest of the wires in the wire console? Yeah, the wire to the wire to the wire to the wire to the other wire. Don't forget, there's a, there's a split into another wire there. Yeah, there's a. I'm sweating, Jesus. I'm beating sweat. Okay, I see. I know exactly where it is. Oh my god, that's it. That's the wire. Here, hold the console up. I'll see if I can switch my fingers through there. Okay, so it's been a good while since the last time I picked up the camera. Um, we were trying to run the lines for the rear. Um, bags to the like inside the car and we got them it's a mess right now but just to make sure everything works before we hard mounted it we hooked up the lines to the gauge so it can close off the system and we ran the lines um back through here there's like these little vents that i have right there we ran the line through there and so we ran the line through that vent which goes down through the bumper and it's gonna go where my spring goes that's where this bag will replace um once that happens then the rear's done so we're gonna take the wheel off and replace the spring with the bag that hurt just kidding move the bag out of the way Oh, Jesus. You want to just like lay that down somewhere? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I didn't finish yesterday. I thought I would. I got everything else done except for my front two bags. My rear bags went in pretty easily, but my front two gave me a whole bunch of issues. I feel defeated. I'm gonna finish now, but it's still gonna take me some time. I've really shown anything like whatsoever, which also kind of sucks. With this lower ball joint, it wants to round 
this brake line, it wants to round. It's all just this nut that goes on the brake line, it wants to round. And without those, I can't take off this original suspension. So this is not the smartest idea, but I'm just gonna cut this off. Let's just point this out. Do not do what I'm doing. This is not something you do. I cut my stock strut just so I can take this off and get my bag on. But I'll never be using these again anyway since I'm using bags or since I'm going to bags, so I honestly didn't care. Um Yeah, time to get the bag on. How'd you get it on the other side? It's in the same spot. Well up there? Yeah. I thought you said it was on the bottom. Well I can get it. There's the airline. It's going through here. Brought to the bottom to the bag. Okay. Air out the rear. Yeah. Stop. Okay, I noticed when I was editing this video that I didn't explain actually the bag setup that much or what it looks like completely lowered. I just showed like a little clip of me actually lowering it, so that's what I'm gonna go over right now. Um, don't mind the snow, it actually snowed at my house, but um, this is this is how low the car actually does sit, um, completely aired out. Uh, the front right now gets a lot lower than the rears just because I actually haven't cut my fenders yet completely. So like, I started, but it's not the greatest. Like, that's what I have. The other side still hasn't even been cut. I just can't do it. So if you like have any suggestions on how to actually help me, or how to actually cut fenders, leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate it. Um, so this is as low as I'm sitting right now. It doesn't sit completely all the way down, but it's low. Like this car sits really low. Um, yeah. So the kit almost does hit the floor. The front, the fenders actually do touch the floor. Um, with the kit, since I am running the airlift performance bags in the front, I have the camber plates maxed out completely on the top. So I actually do get three degrees of camber when I'm completely aired out. So that's that's uh, let's see if I can actually so I'm getting camber I get that much camber when I'm aired out completely in the rear it's the universal air bag that replaces the spring with that too I get a ton of camber I don't understand why I'm getting so much camber in the rear but I actually get a lot it makes my fitment look really weird like here I'll just show it from the back That's how much rear camber I get. Earlier in the video I showed that I had didn't have a gauge pod for this car yet, which actually has came in since the time of that that clip was shot. Um, so this is the gauge pod I'm running. I am running a dual gauge pod, um, since I do have two, two gauges. This one's reading my front air pressure, this one's reading my rear air pressure. My reasoning behind this was the top one, represents the front of the car. The rear one represents the back of the car. Um, since these are 
air gauges, the wire, they don't sit completely flush inside of the housings because they do have like these big, huge like wires or like air lines that stick out from it. So they don't sit flush. So I am going to change this eventually. There's a gauge that sits right here that I really want to get. That's all digital. It's made by like car, car shop, not car shop glow. It's by like glows. I don't know. I'll leave a, I'll put a picture of it like somewhere up here. Um, so like, I just wanted to show like how this actually works. This is still airlift management. It's just not in the form of the can three H controller, three P controller. But the other mod I do want to do for this car is I do want to get a silencer because this tank, this compressor is the loudest thing in the history of the world. And as you can see, I mounted my little paddle valves. So the man so the management I'm running is just a simple manual system. So basically just each bag of my car. And I put it here, originally there was an ashtray here. What I did is I took the ashtray out, cut the bottom off, mounted this here. This was the only logical place that this can sit, like flush. And it actually works pretty well. You don't really notice it, and it works really well for what it does. Basically, front driver, front passenger, rear driver, rear passenger. It's as simple as that. I don't have any air in my tank right now, so like this needle's not gonna go that high, but basically the concept is push up on these, air pressure in the front bags, push up on the rears. Uh, I got a little bit. It reads the pressures. And instead of having the air like come out of the car when you air out, I get it here. So And that's really all how like this system works compared to something else. So I just do everything myself. I actually just have to look at needles and figure out how much air is in my bags and then push up. It's really not any different than the other one. I don't mind it. It's not a bad system. Um, I got the kit from Bag Riders. I'll leave that link below. If you want to look at this kit, you can check it out for yourself. Um, that's really it for this video. So I'm going to head out later. Jesus. <laughs> oh shit. Broke my lens. when I push down here, it makes the cool sound that makes bags cool. Like, 